Romans chapter 4 verse 8. Blessed is the man, to whom the Lord shall not impute sin. Today we are blessed, for in Christ all our sins are forgiven. God doesn't count our sins against us. He counts us righteous in Christ instead. This is why we are blessed men, to whom the Lord does not and will not impute sin. And what happens to a man like that? Let's look at Jacob's story to find out. The Bible shows how Jacob tricked his father, and cheated on his firstborn blessing, of his elder brother Esau. Yet, God chose to talk to Jacob, in spite of his sin of deceit. And no, he was not rebuked and cursed by God. To the deceitful Jacob, said God, I am the Lord God of Abraham your father, and the God of Isaac, the land on which you lie, I will give to you and your descendants. Behold, I am with you, and will keep you wherever you go, and will bring you back to this land, for I will not leave you, until I have done what I have spoken to you. Here was a man whom God did not impute sin. God has not rebuked Jacob at all. Rather, we hear him say to Jacob, I will give to you. I am with you. I will keep you. I will bring you back. I will not leave you. Jacob was definitely not deserving of these blessings. This is a man who stood in the truth, of Romans chapter 4 verse 8. Now I am not encouraging you to sin, but I want you to see God's love and grace toward us. If Jacob was so blessed, how much more you and I today, who are under the new covenant of grace, established by the blood of Jesus? How much more is our blessedness, since Jesus has removed all our sins at the cross? Beloved, because of the finished work of Jesus, God does not impute sin to you. What he imputes to you, is righteousness apart from works. And because you are righteous, brace yourself for his blessings. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and comment. Feel free to share with someone who needs strength right now. Kindly subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified. And watch other inspirational videos like this.